by Mary Fran to do a, uh, let's see, what's this called? <laughs> a this or that tag, a this or that tag. And I wanted to do it. I like doing tags. I think they're pretty cool. I know I watch, I like watch, uh, to watch other people's answers. And so, yeah, I'll do it. I'll do it, Mary Fran. Um, I love Mary Fran's channel, by the way, you guys. I think most of you already watch her channel. It's no excuses here on YouTube. Um, I completely enjoy watching Mary Friend's channel and she's so inspirational. And uh, yeah, if you haven't seen her channel, which I would be surprised because I do not have a large audience, <laughs> but if you haven't seen her channel, you should go check her channel out because she's, she's just awesome and she's very motivational. Um, but for this, for this or that tag, she's got 10 questions here for me that I will go through and try to answer as best as I can. Let's see. So question number one, silk or flannel sheets? Silk. I live in California. It's hot here. I would be a sweaty mess in flannel. <laughs> I guess maybe if I visited somewhere that was cold and had snow, maybe. I don't know. I'm going through perimenopause and I have the hot flashes all the time. <laughs> So I lean more towards silk. Um, question number two is savings or shopping? I'm definitely a saver. I don't like, I'll have my spurts of where I want to go shopping, but I'm not a big time shopper. Um, I enjoy having a savings and knowing that we're okay financially and just, I wouldn't, I don't think I'm too frugal, but I like to use my money wisely. We have financial goals that we want to achieve here. And so, um, yeah, we think about it before we buy something. Uh, question number three, structured routine or go with the flow? Structured routine, 100% for me. If I mean, I'll try to go with the flow quite sometimes, but it's so easy for me to get off track. So if I'm structured and I, I just know what I'm going to do, I'll even do a list for my daily chores. Like here's my list to get done. I'll sometimes I'll even time it you know, between this time and this time I do this and between this time and this time I do that. And that way I make sure I get everything done on my list and that I stay on top of what I need to get done. That's how I am at work too though, you guys, as a nurse, I have my checklist. I have, unless of course we have an emergency situation that changes everything. But if we're on a routine day, um, yeah, I'm a check, you know, I'm going to hit everything and make sure I don't miss anything. I just, I work that way. Um, question number four, cubed or crushed ice? I'm not really an ice person. I prefer room temperature, so I hardly ever put ice in any of my drinks. Um, and I usually just drink water. So <laughs> I guess if I have every so often, my son, Joshua, he makes, um, he'll do like a water glass and put a ton of ice in it. And, um, it tastes so good when he makes it. <laughs> I don't know why it's just knowing that he made it, but it's regular ice, you know, just regular kitchen ice. So they're not really crushed. So I guess I'll go with that cubed. Um, sofa or recliner? I'll take recliner. My husband, I got him a recliner for, what did I, I can't remember if it was his birthday or Christmas, but for one of those last year. And I love his recliner. It's a rocking recliner though. I, I think my favorite part about it is that it's a rocking chair, um, but it reclines too. So, and I'm in that all the time. He's like, hey, did you get that for me or for you? And I'm like, I got it for you. <laughs> but I use it all the time. <laughs> poor my poor husband. <laughs> um, number six, your day, crazy or sane? I prefer sane. I prefer sane, definitely. But uh, if crazy happens, I just pray that it all resolves, you know, and doesn't stay crazy and doesn't stay lasting. <laughs> I'm not a very, I don't know, I'm a pretty laid back person, I think so. <laughs> um, when I was younger, I would have chose crazy. I, I don't know, I had a, a transition in life that I prefer saying no. Number seven, paper or plastic bags. Um, I think like most people answer, I, I like to use my reusable bags, 
that I bought them so I can reuse them. But with all this going on with the virus going around, um, I don't know. I like either one. I don't really care. Uh, I try to reuse both. If I get paper or plastic, I try to fi figure out a way to reuse them here in the house or um, just do something smart with it instead of just uh, piling them up. Uh, let's see, number eight is open spaces or closed in areas. Open spaces, 100%. My favorite place, okay, no, I have two favorite places. Um, when I go to the ranch horseback riding, my friend Bob doesn't live there anymore. I'm so sad. So I missed the ranch. But when I would go out to the ranch to go horseback riding, it was all open and quiet and serene and just the horses were all there. I'm telling you, it was just, it did something for me, for the soul. It was just so peaceful and I loved it. Um, and then the other open space that I love is in Julian, California. If I could choose a place to move to, to live, I love that place. I love it. Every time I go there, I feel peaceful and just... Um, just good. I just feel good when I'm there. <laughs> I told my husband if he could ever buy me a cabin there, um, that would be awesome. I would love that. I would love a cabin in Julian, California. <laughs> it's one of my favorite places. And it's nice and open, you guys. Nice and open. I love it. Uh, number nine, live in a hot or cold place. Well, I'm a Southern California girl. Lived in Lived here my whole life. So I guess I would have to say hot. I don't know if I would even know how to survive in a cold place. <laughs> you know, here in California, if it hits like the high 60s, I'm cold. I'm in sweaters or boots or jackets. Or <laughs> and I know other places, they're like, oh, that's still pretty warm. Yeah, for me, I'm like, Bruh. it's 69 today. I'm freezing. Yeah, I'm totally hot-blooded and <laughs> used to Southern California weather. Um, so yeah, since I'm used to it, I'll say hot. And you know, then you can go to the beach and enjoy the beach. But number 10, public library or bookstore? Oh man, Mary Fran, I loved your answer on this. I was just laughing and laughing. She kept saying, or she talked about how she would find, I'm so sorry, but she would find boogies in her library books. That is so gross. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Now, I've never experienced that, thankfully. Um, but when I my kids were young, we used to go to the library all the time. Like, every week we were at the library just to give them something to do. And they could read their books or it was story time. Or, you know, we just loved the library. We loved We'd stay there for hours. Um, and then, uh, but I will say, I will say, if, even though we went to the library all the time and we loved it, and I, I did that for my kids, I loved that. And of course, you didn't have to pay for the book. I could read books and return it and not have to pay. But there is nothing like getting a new book from the bookstore. The crisp pages as you go through it, um, the smell, there's like a new book smell. I am a book nerd and I love a fresh new books that you get from the bookstore. Oh, I just love it. So I think even though I love the library, I'm going to put pick bookstore because um, those fresh new books, oh, I just, there's something about it. My son got me a Kindle to where I could read books on my Kindle and I feel so bad, but I was still buy books over reading books on the Kindle because there's just something that I love about reading a book and turning a page and the crisp paper and how it looks and feels and just all of it um, that I don't get when I'm using a Kindle and reading a book on the Kindle. So yeah, fresh new book. I think that one wins for me. Anyways, that's a little bit about me, you guys. Um, thank you, Mary Friend, for asking me to do this tag. I thought this was fun. And um, I did not pick any people. <laughs> I'm sorry, you guys. I did not take the time to pick some people out to be able to do this tag. So if you haven't done this tag and you like the questions and you feel like answering them, then I pick you. You're it. 
um, go ahead and do a tag, do a video, and put it down in the comment section so I can know to go and check it out and see what your answers are, because I think these are neat. Um, so yeah, you're picked. Tag, you're it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys, thanks so much for watching, and um, hopefully I can get back on track with doing my videos. So you have a blessed day, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.